Hey everybody, it's Rob Nazarian with Talk Android, and uh, we have the Galaxy S5 here doing a bunch of different how to's and guides. And right now, we want to talk about S Health. So, you want to become more healthy, you want to eat right, you want to exercise more. Where S Health on the Galaxy S5 will help you achieve that. Now, there are a lot of different apps in the Play Store that do a lot of the same stuff, um, but uh, this is pre comes pre installed on your device. It's ready to go. S Health, it's right here. Uh, you might, there might be an uh, after you get your phone, there might be an update or two from the Samsung Apps Store, but generally it's all all ready to go. Now this is the main screen, and a lot of different things going on here. Um, over here, it's telling me how many steps I've walked today, and not that many. Uh, I haven't had the phone on me too much today. You're going to want to have the phone, uh, your phone, on you. All the time. This is how many calories I've burned and how many calories I've eaten if I keep track of it. Uh, over here in the pedometer, for example, this is where you can stop and pause it, and I've pretty much left it on. I've, I, you want to hit start on this uh, since I got the device, and then you want to pretty much leave it on, and it will always keep track of your steps. Your goal is 10,000, and then you can also see. Uh, you know your history charted as well um, over here over time I don't think I ever hit the 10,000 uh, I can also look at days here on the top so yesterday I hit 5,373 steps and it shows the distance in miles and and calories and then the previous day here I can also tap the date and then select a particular date so obviously you ha you'll have a lot of data over a, over a longer period of time um, here is also where you can see another good look at the dates and how well I did. So I actually did my highest um, on April 19th, 7,400 steps. So obviously I need to walk more. And this is this is um, going to hopefully inspire you to do more. So you want to make sure that um, you go into the pedometer and then you hit start on that. I haven't noticed a lot of battery drain from it, but obviously it, it probably can affect it a little bit. Now over here in the um, in the hamburger style menu you have some different choices here that was the main screen that's right here that we were in before um, and then of course you can go directly to the pedometer from here and then over here you have um, exercise and this is where you can actually do a workout and record them um, and so you can do running, walking, cycling, hiking, and you can set a workout goal here. Do you want a basic, um, you know, a time goal, a calorie goal, whatever goals uh, that you want to set, you can do that here. And uh, you can also have an audio guide as well that, uh, that they'll basically go through it with you. And then, of course, you can play music as well. And what you want to do is you, you tap on music. I don't have much uh, that many songs on here. But you can create playlists. And what will happen is if you go in and select whatever you want, play it here first, um, then go back and start your workout, um, then you'll be able to you know scroll through your music so if you're looking for a particular playlist for example so um, I have a test playlist here so I'm gonna go ahead and hit that and then I'll hit play okay I'm gonna go back and then I'm gonna hit start and the music pauses and then you're already into the playlist and then I can go ahead and hit each song right here I only got two songs in the playlist, but so I so if you want to skip a song or whatever, and then you've got it all shuffled on the other screen as well, you can just go ahead and just skip your songs if you're running or doing whatever. But then here's all the information here on it of what you've been doing, and of course you can always tick off the audio guide here as well. As you go through, the audio guide will tell you what you've done, how how close you are to achieving your goal, and then you can go ahead and hit pause here it's paused and then you can resume it um, so say well, I don't know you're on the treadmill and you gotta go to the bathroom or something you can pause it come back and then of course you can hit stop and you're done now I didn't really achieve that much here in this workout but you can add pictures and then of course you've got your map here to show you where you've been where you where you've walked or whatever and you could put comments and so um, all that's cool and then when you go in here you can see all your workouts um, you know what you what you did here what each workout and those were mostly all test ones I didn't really do anything haven't used the workout uh, thing all that much so um, 
so that's the uh, that's the uh, exercise, and you can get go to that from here as well. Um, now the heart rate, which you can also tap on here or get to it from here. The heart rate is pretty simple. Uh, on the back of the device, there is a heart sensor, and basically it's telling you to touch that with your finger and keep things still. So we're going to go ahead and hit OK. Whoops, that's the history of different heart rates that I've tested. So we'll go back here, and it's actually place my finger on the sensor, and I'll just leave it. Oh, I can leave it like this, and it says not to move and keep quiet. And there you go, so 93 beats per minute right now, which is a little higher than um, I am usually when I'm resting. Um, but as you work out and stuff, it goes goes a lot higher. And then, of course, you have your history here uh, of uh, that you can go to, uh, your day, your month history of your different heartbeats. And then over here is a different listing as well uh, that we were just looking at. And then, of course, I went higher. I was doing some walking and stuff the other day, and there's some lower numbers when I was resting. So um, I couldn't get it to work with my five-year-old, so I'm not really sure um, if it was just I couldn't keep him steady or what. But uh, for adults, it seems to work well. It works as long as you keep steady and stuff. Now, another thing, go back into the menu here, is food. This is going to take some time if you really want to get into it. Um, I actually did some stuff here uh, back on April 19th. I did it. Um, I had a 1018 calorie breakfast but you can go in and I did some other things here and then I kind of lost track so where I had a small most of my breakfasts are usually small which consists of a banana or whatever um, but see it actually shows you what I ate a banana and a little bit of orange juice um, and then for lunch I had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and then uh, with marsh well actually it was peanut butter and fluff but I chose the peanut butter and jelly sandwich to make it simpler but Bottom line is, um, what you can do is, so say for today, let's for example, today's uh, um, April 23rd, so uh, for breakfast, I can go in here, tap on this, and then go ahead and select um, the different foods uh, that I want, if it would load. Alright, so there, and it will show you the different categories that you can choose from, and you can also star things once you go through, and you can um, be able to get things quicker, and you can also search. So say uh, for breakfast, you know, you go to fruit, and you eat fruit, and I don't know, you, you could just choose blueberries, for example. There's a whole bunch of stuff. There's, I don't even know how many different foods in here, millions of foods, and there are other apps in the Play Store that do this as well. But, so we're going to just choose, I don't know, blueberries, uh, sunsweet. And then you can also uh, pick the serving size that you took. And then go ahead and hit OK. And then say uh, you had something to uh, uh, drink. So I can go in here and um, let's see, that's under beverages. So I go to beverages, I, or I drank apple juice, whatever. So I'll say I drank that and I had one serving. And then I go ahead and hit done. And then um, I can view, view the nutrition info right here. And I can add a picture if I want. Um, I can add more information, and, um, and of course I've got it listed as breakfast, and I can also do notes, and I go ahead and hit save. And now it's 250 calories, my goal is 2322 calories, and I can go through with all my meals. Now incidentally, uh, I said you could save, so save for lunch, um, I'm going to do, um, let's just say uh, for lunch, I don't know, pasta right now, and let's just say I had uh, lasagna for lunch. I can go ahead and star it as a favorite, so now I'll be able to uh, find it. And of course, I can choose the meat lasagna. And let's just go with that right now and save it. And so for dinner, I can go in here and um, go into frequent, and it's meat lasagna. And do, so any favorites that I have, um, we'll, I'll be able to find right away. So it does make it easier because this is time consuming to put in your food all the time. Uh, but this is going to be someone who's dedicated to really, you know, into really watching your diet and health and all that good stuff. Um, but the good thing about us health is you can use whatever aspects of it that you really want. Now, speaking of that, let's go over here to coach. So in the coach category, when you first go into it, uh, it asks you to pick a category that's most important to you. So you don't have to do all of them. And I chose exercise and went through some questions. In fact, I don't know if it'll do it again. Basically what it's doing is it's 
it's asking me what I do as far as my exercise. What do I do now? Do I lift uh, weights regularly? Do I run regularly or whatever? And then it actually tries to increase my goals and, um, and I can again, to push me to go further as your coach, which is really cool. So let's just walk through, for example, um, for weight. If I go through weight, um, there's my uh, weight and height that I already had put in. I confirm it. And so um, it's putting a score down. And um, I'm on the right track already, is it saying, based on uh, my information. So uh, it's gr it's it's grading me. Uh, I'm in the okay uh, okay level, but I can all you know put down here set goal reduce weight by 10 pounds and then go through that whole process. So um, and then reassess and then I can do that with stress food. So if I can go in the food, so then here's the questions: How many servings of fruits do I eat? I'll say one to two. And then how many servings of uh, high cholesterol or fatty foods? I'll say one to two right now. And then whole grains, I'll say uh, one to two also, it doesn't matter. Uh, do I eat processed meats? Uh, how many days a week? I'll say, uh, geez, four to six. <laughs> and how many servings of sugary foods? Uh, we'll go one to two. And drinks, oh, 15 plus. No, uh, drinks per week, we'll say, <laughs> we'll go with one to seven. And on average, how many meals a week do you eat out? Um, we'll say one to two, and then again, now it sets uh, different goals and where I'm at. Uh, so I'm in the okay range as well, and I can set a goal. So eat more fruits and vegetables, eat more this that, and it will help me get through that as I put my stuff, put my entries into the uh, food um, database. Uh, into my di food diary, it's going to uh, show me how I'm, how I'm doing. You'll also see, like, as you're walking, um, like, for example, there's always good information. Like, it'll be on your lock screen how many steps. Like, that's how many steps I've taken so far today. It shows you there. And also, you'll get notifications that you're half, you've are half you met your goal halfway through and stuff like that. So it's really a good push into, you know, keeping you really healthy. And that's something that... There's a real big concentration with this phone. So Samsung didn't make a lot of changes with the Galaxy S5, but they've added a lot of stuff in the in the phone as they usually do, and this is one big aspect. Also, if you get a Gear 2 or a Galaxy Gear and a Gear 2 Neo and a Gear Fit, that'll also connect with this with the S Health, and you can do uh, things obviously from your wrist. But this here, I'm just showing you just what you can do with your um, with just the phone. And of course, weight, uh, which we were just kind of there. This is where you can record your weight uh, each day if you want. You can keep track of it and update it. I haven't really I haven't done that. I've only entered it once, but you can enter your weight each and every day to kind of see where you are. And again, this is going to be for people who maybe find themselves much more overweight and need to lose weight that are on a diet. This this basically is for everybody. You don't have to necessarily lose weight, just someone who wants to get healthier, someone who wants to work out more, people who want to lose weight, whatever it be. Someone wants to lift weights more. Um, it's, it's overall a very good representation of all the apps that are out in the Play Store, uh, and it puts it all together in one thing. The only thing you're really not going to find out there in the Play Store is the heart rate sensor, which is pretty cool, but you gotta, you're going to have to put your finger on it um, when you want to do it. And um, So I don't know how much value that is to most people, but the bottom line is the overall app the pedometer and the exercise routine and everything, it's its put together well, the food database. So if you're really into health, then give health, S Health a try. And I hope, um, you know, everything that I went over here will help you um, get the most out of it. And uh, that's pretty much it. So basically look forward to some more guides and how-tos on the Galaxy S5. Uh, we'll talk more about the camera coming up and probably the Watch On app. And um, we, we went through the fingerprint scanner and fingerprint with PayPal and stuff already. So check out those videos. And that's about it for now. So uh, until next time, thanks for watching. This is Rob Nazarian with Talk Android.